Emma's got a really consistent kicker in this couple of years. Will Riker, 18 to 23 on the season, and he hammers it right through. Zamir White, call him Zeus, in the backfield. They fake it to him. Bennett pressured on the rollout, and he's going to be sacked immediately. Christian Harris got there, and it's a big loss. And they fake it to Bowers. Here's a downfield shot. George Pickens, a diving catch. As the elite receiver has waited a long time to make a play like that in the big game. Bootleg wants to take a shot downfield and slammed to the ground. That was Dallas Turner, that other talented young inside linebacker. Jack Lesney, reliable kicker, 20 of 25 this year. This from 24 yards right down the middle. A much needed rest, Kirk. That long drive gave him a chance to recover. Trying to get after Young, who launches to Williams, who's wide open down the field. How you wonder. He's to the Georgia 35. The main target staying down, though, and gripping his knee. Reichardt was good earlier from 37. And hammers this one through from 45. But a big job to do in the meantime. Young across the middle. It's caught. And Latu running down the field. Can they track the tight end down? They try to punch the ball free. They can't. He's inside the 10. In the SEC championship game. Sack Bryce Young. Reichard. Providing all the Alabama points so far. But Lesney, this is the longest field goal attempt of the season, but within his range in his career, and that's a beauty. Now back off the line of scrimmage. Young across the middle. Catch made. The Jai Hall works his way free, and the freshman. Steps off in the absence of Williams and makes a big play. And White slips out of a tackle. Cuts through a crease and barrels into Alabama territory. There goes Zeus. 30 yards. Three tight ends in the game for Georgia. And it's a flea flicker. Bennett looking downfield and just throws it away. It was Bowers running down the middle. Pickles was over on the left. Without Holly, we've seen a couple of guys make plays. The passing game has actually been clicking. They just haven't found the end zone. Young launches downfield to Billingsley, and it's picked off by Smith. The safety was lurking back there. The tight end was well covered, and the dogs with tonight's first takeaway. Alabama's side, that might be because their big play guy is out of there. Robinson finally making a play, breaking tackles, showing some determination, and that gets a roar from the Bama fans who have waited all night to see a run like that. The reliable right card tries to make it four for four tonight, but it's blocked. The dogs are very good at blocking field goals. That's the third this season, and the lead is still three. Cook makes a cut. He's got blazing speed. James Cook in a foot race. Can the tie track him down? They finally get him inside the 15. Battle saved the touchdown, but the dogs instantly threaten. He's over on the left side. And Zeus White muscles in the first touchdown of this championship game. And Georgia claims its first lead. Got away from... Stetson Bennett, how fortunate is he to hold on to that ball? We're all caught up in the big guys, right? We're looking out there. Oh, my gosh. Look at Jordan Davis. Look at Jalen Carter. Suddenly, Bama inside the 35. Young launching downfield. Catch is made by Hall. Dropped one earlier. No mistake that time. He beat Chris Smith. Instead, he sends out right card from 21. And... He does not get through. Makes it third and eight. Here comes the pressure. Bennett immediately on the run. He'll be chased down. Tries to make a desperation heave. 
Harris had him in the grass. That ball nowhere near back to the line of scrimmage. Well, no, I think he was calling that. I think, I don't know if that ball came out of his hand before his arm came forward, but the referee was right there. Discussing whether it perhaps was a fumble. He threw, a beam, of the 15. He, he threw the beam back down. Rolling on the field is a fumble yeah. recovered by the defense. First down. Pressure. Young. Touchdown! On the run, he found Latou. Tides first touchdown and Alabama reclaims the lead with 10 14 to play. Latou here, and I want you to watch what he does at the top of his route. See him push there at the end of the route, gets the separation. The defensive backs on his backside, the safety Christopher Smith. Who can make a play? It was Pickens earlier with the long catch, Cook with the electric run, and now on first down, Bennett was a long throw. And it's Burton who makes the play. McKinstry pushes him out first down across the 40. Bowers hasn't yet gotten involved in this half. Keep in mind the tight end is their top receiver. Bennett hammered, pressured, and knocked down from behind. About 6'4", 245 pounds. And he pressures the quarterback with that same relentless approach. And that's too much speed and power for a pretty good blocking tight end. Fitzpatrick. Now another flag. Bennett launching. Mitchell. Free play! The dogs retake the lead! He sees Tim Smith jump. He says, what the heck? Let's go to the young corner. We've gone after him here a little bit on this drive. Let's take a shot with my freshman Mitchell against Jackson. Ball underthrown just a bit. Jackson never turns to find the ball. And a great job again by a Georgia player locking in to secure the football. Dogs have not tried a two-point conversion this season. Haven't had a need to until right now. I don't like this spot at all. It's third and one. They're going to throw for it. Bowers has got it. He's going to block it. Touchdown, Georgia. And there is a flag down, though. Hold on. There's a flag near the line of scrimmage. Bennett says it's on Bama. I think they hit him. I think they hit Stetson Bennett after he released the football. Jordan Battle on a blitz came through. And hit Stetson Bennett in the face. You had a feeling the guy as talented as Brock Bowers, who's made an impact from the moment he arrived on campus, had a big game in the opener against Clemson. Personal foul, rough in the passer, number nine. Defense, the result of the play is a touchdown. Here's, the, here's the, the pressure here, here. Nobody picks up Brock Bowers. Eventually, Toe to thinks I gotta get out there, but his eyes were in the backfield. There you can see Battle hit Stetson Bennett, but nobody out there. And Bowers is able to get free and walk into the end zone. Bama kind of rolling the dice, hoping that they would get to, to Bennett. Nobody takes Brock Bowers. That's an easy touchdown. Georgia brings pressure. Young back pedals and delivers a strike across the middle to Robinson. First down. To the 43. Biggest third down in Bryce Young's career. He need 10. Play clock at four. From the pocket. Launching downfield. Underthrown and intercepted. Keely Ringo has an escort down the sidelines. All the way to the end zone. And Georgia is going to conquer the Crimson Tide. Yeah, he's to the outside. The receiver's to the outside. Bryce, is, he, he didn't get pressure, but he, I don't know if he's expecting a back shoulder throw or bringing Holden back, whatever it might have been. But unlike Kendrick, Ringo gets his eyes on the ball, and he sees that it's underthrown and adjusts back and makes that interception. As you said, he had a convoy in front of him. It wasn't just about securing this. And look at Kirby in the background. <laughs> That's elevation. That was 38 inches right there by Kirby Smart. Well, we saw the speed earlier. There's the vertical jump. Yeah. Ringo is a freshman. His first interception. Bennett responding after the fumble with a tremendous throw and catch. And then the pick six to wow. seal it. And one more play for the Georgia defense. Georgia on the mountaintop. Demons be gone, and the drought is over. 
national champions at long last. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.